Hey everybody, Brian Auto here. Welcome back to my re-recordings of my tutorial series. Um, right now we're going to be doing Abyss Chapter 3. Uh, I hate this level. I, I really do not like this level. It's kind of like a... It's definitely a hidden boss of the Titanfall 2 speedrun. It's pretty short, um, and there's some sections that are like kind of forgettable, but you honestly, if, if you don't practice this level, it, it can be such a big time difference between a good runner and a bad runner. Um, so I'm, I'm going to do my best to walk you through all the ins and outs of this level, and there's a lot of them, so we're, we're in, definitely in for a ride with this level. Um, so bear with me here while I, I guide you through probably one of my, my least favorite levels in Titanfall 2 that isn't Beacon Chapter 1. So uh, lots, of, lots of tricky stuff. We got some tricky skips, got some new tech. This level's had a complete facelift since my last tutorial video. So um, yeah, I always refer to this level as the hidden boss. So... We'll get, we'll get started. So, right off the bat, um, what I normally do here at the very beginning is I'm gonna, I, I run here, and then once I get to about to this this rock here, I'm gonna do a slide. I don't wanna slide before this rock just cause I don't want Cooper to like, get cut up on any weird geometry or something like that. So anyway, I slide at this rock, and then I'm gonna uh, double jump, and I'm gonna aim for this back left corner of this pipe, and actually you can just wall kick off this, and it gets you about right there. Um, that's like a pretty, that's like a, that's like a small, that's like a really small optimization, but you know, one of those ones that adds up, right? So about like that. That's how that looks. And it looks really clean too. It looks clean, it feels clean, it's clean. It's a clean strat. It's a clean strat for clean people. Come over here, wall kick. Um, the angle can be a little bit tricky, but um, if you, if you try this a few times, you'll get it down. Um, so alternatively, if you really just don't like that strat for whatever reason, you can just come down here, double jump and then just run up here. So once you get here, um, this is one of the more annoying parts of the level. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna dash through here. I'm gonna put up a quick save here, actually. You're gonna, or sorry, you're gonna slide through and then just like mash face. And what you have to be careful of is that you don't go too far to the left. If you go too far to the left, you like, you'll find that you're just, you'll bonk on something like right as you're about to do the slide. I'm not sure if I can do it on command. I probably can't do it on command, but basically just stick to the right. Stick to the right when you come through here. Avoid this pipe. And then as you're, as you're mashing, jump through. Um, just kind of slowly move your camera to the left. That's going to be your best bet there. Um, I believe there's like a way that, that Decep used to do this, where he holds uh, A and W, or forward, forward, uh, forward left. And like it gets him through here super fast. Whoops, but I don't actually know anything about that. And I've, when I, whenever I do it outside of ILs, I normally mess it up. But I keep, push, I pre, I keep pressing Q. Whenever, whenever I do it outside of IELTS, it doesn't really end well for me. So, yeah. But I kind of, I think you jump diagonally with it, and it's pretty nice. Um, once you get here, there's like actually a pretty fast strat you can use to get through here. I only ever do it in IELTS just because it's so tricky. So I don't recommend doing this outside of IELTS, but I'll show it to you for for anyway. Um, you can wall run right here. You can actually, uh, you can wall run on that little thing, and then you can double jump across. I'm not going to spend too much time on the strat because it's it's hard. Hey, spam the chat. Um, but you can use it to get through, just like that. It's really clean, if you get it. Again, clean strat for clean people, but there's a lot of nuance to it. Um, if you want to mess with this strat, do it on your own time. It's way too complicated for me to waste any time on it. I'm going to have to be focusing on what you do in like a full game run here. So, um, what I do coming out of here is as soon as I get out of here, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump. And then I land. Uh, I want to land about right here, in this little crevice right here, or on top of this. Right here or right here, not right here, because if you hit this little bump here, it's going to slow you down. Like every other little piece of geometry in this game. So you come out of here, jump, jump, jump. Um, that, that's about it. You want to have to, you just want to shoot the gap basically and, and squeeze yourself right in the middle. Make sure you're crouching when you come in here and just make sure to avoid like all geometry because this, this will, you will get messed up there. Um, do I use the default keybinds for movement? I use pretty close to default, yeah. Um, ask me again after I'm done with the tutorial. Spam the chat. You'll sometimes find that when you come out of this, uh, when you come out of here, if you did the, if you did your movement really nicely through here, you'll find that you'll, uh, you won't get a slide boost right here. So let me see if I can like use my slide boost here and then jump and do this and not get a slide boost. Yeah. So if you do that, that's fine. You could still just kind of like mash jump through here and it's that that it is what it is. It's kind of annoying, but it's uh, it's not like too big of a time loss. So once you get around this corner. This is going to set up for uh, cylinder skip, and so cylinder skip is when we press that button and then get in that uh, cylinder as it swings around to the right. 
Um, I think an angry albino was the guy that found the strat. At least he was the first one I ever saw do it. I'm not quite sure though. So there's a couple different ways you can set up for this. Um, also the fast way and the slow way. So uh, the fast way is uh, you're gonna wall run up this wall. And my lineup for this is that this wall run, this wall could be pretty tricky. Is I usually use this little line right here. I use this little line right here to line myself up. I jump here, and then I wall run. Yeah, you line up, line up with this. You wall run, and then I jump off. Um, I'm gonna strafe to the left as soon as I jump off, and then I want to land. Uh, I want to land either right here, or I'm gonna land right here. Uh, I optimally probably want to land about right there. That's gonna be your best bet. So here. And sometimes you'll find you kind of bonk off. It's just faster to come back here and then do it again. Land there. Um, and you don't want to jump off of that blue thing. If you do land on the blue thing there, you just want to slide off. So the trick right here is you're going to be you're going to be holding the use key. You're going to be holding the use key as you come down, and you should be you should be hitting use uh, right as you pass over it. So again, that's obviously not what you want to do. Um, but the idea is uh, you want to be holding use like right as you pass over the button. Otherwise, you won't make it to the cylinder in time. Yeah. So, um, the tr the there, there's definitely a lot of nuance there. So, um, if you get a slide, if you get a slide right here, don't jump. You wanna you wanna hold your double jump. So you wanna get a slide boost off whatever you land on. Hold your double jump until you press the button, and then you and then you and then you double jump, which brings you over here. Um, this is definitely like the faster way to go through here. Sometimes you land down here, that's fine, it's just a bit harder to work with. As soon as you hit the ground, you have to uh, you have to pretty much like do an instant jump and then double jump right there. So there is another strat for this, uh, for cylinder skip, it's a lot safer, though it is slower. Um, the trick to this one is uh, you want to jump about right here at the edge of this, uh, the edge of this edge, the ledge here. You land right here, and then you're going to get a slide hop. Um, and then you uh, basically you basically jump off the button more or less. So here, hold use, double jump, and then you get to the cylinder. So um, we'll talk about getting into the cylinder now. Um, getting into the cylinder, I'll use examples from both. Um, so generally, um, you want to be aiming for. Uh, generally, you want to aim for probably either uh, this hole right here. Or this one right here. Um, you can aim for this one. This is going to be like the easiest hole to get into. And again, we're probably going to have lots of like that's what she said jokes. Let's just move on, guys. Um, getting in this hole is probably the easiest. Uh, but that said, it's th when, when you get in here, it, there's a lot of risk of the game tossing you out because you never really come in here at, like a pretty high rate of speed. And if you're, if you're crouching here or anything like that, when the cylinder moves, it's going to like toss you out. So what I like to do when I come down here is uh, I want to try and mantle. And yeah, yeah, you heard me. I want to try and mantle when I get here. So if you mantle right here, it's pretty, it's pretty much like a guarantee that you get in here without like the game fucking you up or anything, and you can stand right here at the edge, and the game won't toss you out. So you always wanna you always wanna mantle. Um, that's like the best case scenario. So here, so I'm gonna aim for this right hole, mantle, and then I'm in. Um, and so the. Uh, the reason you want to aim for the upper one is because it makes the exit from the cylinder a lot easier. And generally speaking, when you do do this, you want to, uh, it's like trying to hit a moving target. You want to aim, like, to the left of, the, of where the hole is going to be. Um, so that way, uh, it's easiest to, uh, it's like, basically, if you aim where the hole is and the cylinder starts moving, then, um, you're going to miss it. You know, it's like, it's, it's just think of it as trying to hit a moving target, which you basically are. So, we come here, I'm going to aim a little bit to the left of it, and I mantle it. Um, alternatively, if uh, if you go fast, you can actually hit the left one. And the left one is obviously the fastest one here. So, aim a little bit to the left of the left hole, mantle it, boom. Um, <clears throat> I'll show you a, an example of the entry with the slower strat as well. Hello, my morph. Hey, base DM. Hi, Bumblebee. So we go here, boom, 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 mantle, and you can see how far to the left I am from uh, from the hole. So that's what really matters. Um, 
So that's pretty much the cylinder skip entry. This can be really tricky. Um, if you do mess it up, so let's say you mess up cylinder skip. Ah, oh, darn, I messed up cylinder skip. Man, I suck at this game. Um, the strat to go around, alternatively, is like a little bit, is like a little bit annoying. So what I normally do here is I come up here, I double jump to this guy. Um, and then I'll usually like slide hop off here, grab this wall, go over here, get this, here, 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 and then so on. Um, and that's, uh, I don't want to spend too much time on this because you should be practicing cylinder skip more they should be practicing the backup um, alternatively if you just flat out miss the button if you just flat out miss the button which like does sometimes happen what i normally do is i double jump here arc around land in one of these double jump out again and I, i'm basically just trying to like work my way around the outside pilot i do not know what you did you come over here of explosions. okay so let's talk about when you actually hit cylinder skip um so I think just for, uh, I'm, I'm gonna aim probably for the left hole there, or sorry, the right hole. That'll probably give us the best, uh, best example of what to do. So, when you actually hit cylinder skip, if I can actually hit cylinder skip, I can't believe it's taking me so many takes. There you go, when you actually hit cylinder skip, um, you're gonna wanna jump out of the cylinder as it's rotating. And uh, when you jump out of it, you're gonna aim for this wall right here. You jump to this one, jump to this, Pilot, jump around the corner, and uh, that's about how it looks when you do it fast. Um, I'll kind of explain this in slow mo now. So um, let me actually load this up while I'm going slow. So you jump out. I normally jump out like about right here. I double jump, grab this wall, double jump again, grab this wall. Double jump here, um, and you can actually hit that wall. Like you don't have to do like the uh, you don't have to do the extra adjustment. You don't have to do the extra like uh, the extra hop around the corner. But you'll find that if you do it like this, it's really hard to get enough height to make it up right here and still keep your slide hop. It's possible, but it's definitely really hard. And if you, and if you don't if you don't hit it, it becomes it's like it's honestly it's pretty difficult. So, um, my best advice is you come here, you hit this wall, and then you double jump. And then allow that allows, like, the best, uh, that allows the best entry into this whole section right here. It's, it's just, like, it's, it's pretty difficult to do it the other way, though it is possible. So I just recommend taking that extra set of double jumps, and it's not that much slower. It, it gets you up there really fast. Pilot, I do not know what you did, but a series of explosions... So little nuances to talk about in here. Um, I don't do wall kicks because there's so much weird geometry here. Um, we'll do a hard strafe to the left around this corner. Hard strafe to the left. Double jump. And then um, when I jump from the, up here, I jump away and then back. It's the, that, that strafe pattern I always talk about where you jump away from the wall and then back from the wall that you jump from. Um, and then once you get here... Um, yeah, so once you get here... We're starting caverns, which is a really Pilot, difficult section of the level, probably one of the most difficult, where you're going to find you have a lot of time saver time loss. So once you get up here, um, I'll see if I can hit this route clean all the way through. You just do a couple of double jumps and you strafe after each double jump up here. Place is falling apart. I suggest we leave. Lots of slaloming and left and right strafing here. Cloak here. Strafe left. Right. Left. Slide off. Man, this is going to be hard for me to explain, dude. There's, like, so much going on right here. Oh, man. Okay. I will do my best to convey this all to you guys. So. Caverns. When you first get up here, you should be starting on a, from a slide hop. And from, from the slide hop, um, I'm going to be double jumping and then strafing to the left. So I do double jump, strafe left, double jump, strafe left, double jump, strafe left. And I just use single apart. jumps here. I, I go left and then right. Um, and so I'm going to be kind of like... The, the route I'm taking is I go through here, and then we, uh, you want to line it up so you get a double, so you can double jump straight over this. And you cloak here because these ticks that come around are, like, gonna mess you up. Um, if, if you don't cloak. Like, I've actually been surrounded by the ticks. Like, literally surrounded by the ticks so I can't move and then I just die. Um, Wonderful. but get, getting up here can be pretty tricky. Um, in, in, in tick four. Thank you for the follow. Um, 
Getting up here can actually be kind of tricky. Uh, I actually find it's just best to use, to, it's to use double jumps. You can actually time it so that you just do single jumps the whole way, but it, um, it's a lot harder. You can actually just do single jumps and hold left. It's like a little bit faster, because every time you double jump like this, you lose like a little bit of speed. Um, but it's, it's a lot harder to time. So if you, if, it fi if you find that works for you though, you know, by all means, go for it. In any case, you get here, double jump straight left, double jump straight left. And then once you get around here, you, uh, the slide top timing is a bit tougher because you're going up a slope and so you have to jump a little bit earlier. And it's like a, it's like pretty hard to uh, maneuver your way through there and like hit all your jumps with the right speed. But in any case, once you get over this thing, um, once you get over this guy, um, you, you want to be careful with your, you have to be careful right here, you, can, you basically like can't go too fast because it's possible that uh, if you're coming through here too fast and you're strafing at too wide of an arc, you'll actually bonk your head on this little pipe there. And it's just a super huge momentum killer. Um, and again, I want to reiterate that this strat is really hard, or this this route is really hard, I want to say. Pilot. I do not know what you did. So, double jump straight left, double jump straight left. If you find that you've lost all your speed, it's just best to sprint here and then reset your slide. I suggest we leave. You are not far from my location. Marking your hut. So you get here, and then once you hit this corner, you want to land like about, um... You want to land like about right here, and then try to like time your, uh... Ticks, right? You want to try and time your arc. So that when you land here, you kind of like go up and around like this. So you, you have to like like shoot the gap through here and then shoot the gap through here. Um, and it's usually always good to hold your slide for a bit longer once you get right here. Because if you jump right here, you'll bonk. Um, so you just kind of hold your slide until you're underneath this guy. And then you jump again. It's, uh, it's really, really difficult. So you get here, jump. And then... Uh, there's a ton of geometry right here, so what I found is I, is I try and aim for this gap right here, and then just kind of come straight down and then land right here. There, there's honestly, you guys, this is like, I'm having such a hard time trying to figure out how to articulate all the intricacies of this route, and I do apologize, but it's just, it's that hard. Here we go. This place is falling apart. I suggest we leave. You are not far Double from the location. Marking your HUD. Cloak. Shoot the gap, pull the slide, gap, slide, and then you land on this wall. Um, this, like every other hard route in the game, you're just gonna have to practice it. Um, you're just just gonna have to practice it. If you oh, if you ever find that you lose enough, you lose too much speed, just go ahead and reset your slide hop. Coming through here with with like a good amount of speed is really important. Because if you can even just hit this. Even if, like, you bonk right here, even if you bonk at the very end, like this, getting through all this part without bonking anything is, like, a huge time save. Like, you'll find that a good caverns versus a bad caverns is a difference of, I mean, I want to say, like, around 20 seconds at, like, the very worst. It's pretty insane. Pilot, I do not know what you did. Pretty but insane. A series of explosions just weakened the manipulator arm. I have broken free. This place is falling apart. I suggest we leave. So, we're not far from my location. Once you get Mark through caverns here. Um, once you get through caverns here, you're going to be facing this wall. So, once you get here, there's quite a few ways you can go about this gap crossing. Um, and I'll, and I'll, be, I'll be sure to cover like all the different ways across. The primary one I use is I'm usually coming down here with like a high amount of speed. And so I'll do a slide off right here. I do a double jump, and then I do an edge boost. I do like a really high, wide arcing strafe, and then you can actually get across here like in one fell swoop. It's, it's pretty sick. Um, but hitting that is really, really difficult, and it requires a very specific strafe pattern to hit it. So when you do get here, you hit an edge boost, and you jump like, you do a really wide arc to the to the left, and you can, or I guess a really wide right arcing strafe, and you want to land on this platform, like right at the very tip of it. Um, and generally, uh, when you you can kind of jump off the air, like right when you slide off a platform. So you can see I'm like actually off the platform, but I'm still getting a I'm still I still jump with two double jumps. So you want to basically jump when you're about like right there, more or less. I guess when you're like about here. 
and that allows you to you do a snaking pattern strafe through the air you can get straight over there and it's really really fast because you can actually land on that little crane arm and then get straight to bt it's it's really really sick so here left right land here and you get straight to bt it's really really cool but it's also pretty difficult um, another way to do this is um I'm actually going to wait for this platform to pass through, otherwise it's going to mess me up. Um, if you're not quite making it all the way to the crane arm, um, alternatively, you can uh, just go over here, land on the wall right here, and then you can get to BT. That's not that much slower, and it's, it's probably the second fastest way across. Um, yeah. You get to get you straight to BT. But most of the time, uh, if you can if you can get good to this strat, you get a wide arcing strafe, kind of jump off the air there, and you, and you can get all the way with the crane arm. Um, something to be careful of is that it's definitely possible to go get like be too high or go too fast. So if you think you're gonna overshoot it, just do like a quick S tap. And even if you do a quick, if you, even if you have to tap S and it slows yourself down, you can still get here. And do that. Um, but, and if you're on a controller, you just like tap back on the movement, and that's it. Because it's definitely possible to like do this and then just like miss. I've done that so many times, like so many times I can't tell you. Um, so, other ways across here um, an alternative route across would be uh, you jump down here, jump onto this wall, jump off this guy, jump over here. And that gets you across. That's pretty simple. I think that's probably the most common way across for like less experienced runners. If you made a mistake, and um, if you made a mistake in caverns and like you're really far behind, what you can normally do is like you can come right here, and you can actually just like jump to this guy, to this platform. You jump off pretty early, and it gets you straight across. So there's there's a uh, yeah three different ways to do the gap crossing, but again, most optimal is always going to be this one here. And you see, I, uh, I went too fast right there. I should have held S a little bit, or tapped it at the very least. Because I messed up my, uh, my straight pattern. There we go. Now we get to BT. So, once you get to BT, um, this is pretty straightforward. You can just run straight up here. No need to like fly or anything. You run straight up here. You run straight off there, and you just dash dash again um, and so once you get here I, what I normally do is I'll do like a dash and then I kind of shoot behind me and what that's gonna do is gonna lower my shield and uh, if you don't have a shield and you get punched by a Titan you'll get like a boost so if I get him to punch me so I wasn't moving but you can see like how far he, he pushed me there um, so oh that works I guess so when, when I when I do that final dash off of the uh, off of the platform here and I'm gonna set up a quick save here this is a highly dangerous environment. I suggest when you do this final dash right here, um, you have to watch out for the prowlers. Make sure they don't get in your way. Pilots, I come here and I just do a little shot behind me. Check your and then sometimes this guy will punch you forward. Like that. That's exactly what happens. And sometimes he doesn't. Sometimes you, you want to keep a dash. Like, uh, you want to keep a dash docked here because sometimes he punches you to the left. Um, sometimes he punches you to the left and you kind of hit the wall, but you can like instantly dash from it and still get some momentum from the boost. So it's just a ma it's just a matter of like being heads up, making sure you're keeping it together. So you come down here, shoot your shoot your or you can even do this to lower your shield. You don't have to do it behind you, and then uh, you keep going through. So the damage boost is pretty nice if you get it. It's definitely random, but if you hit it, it's it's pretty. Feels pretty good, dude. So again, we'll do a dash, shoot, run past the Titan here. So he punched me to the side there, so I just dash out of it immediately. Dash off this ledge. So once you get here, this tone can be doing quite a few different, few different things. Sometimes you can like skate over his head, but it's pretty tough. Most of the time, you want to try and steer clear of the tone. You don't want to mess with him. Um, so if he's over here, I normally just like dash to the right. It's just because like the the chance of him just completely stopping your momentum is is, is really possible. 
Um, so yeah, my advice would be don't mess with the tone, just go around him. But if you really think you can get a tone slide like that, it's pretty sick when you do it. I mean, you can see how far ahead I got from it, so. Any, in any case, after I dash past the tone, I, mean, I usually do a couple of rushes of acolyte pods because these prowlers will like flat out stop your momentum completely. I'm actually going to show you guys like how this looks without doing anything to the prowlers and like watch how much they get in your way. It's pretty silly that they're like these fucking animals that just like completely stop your momentum. Like here they are right here and I'll just run into it. I don't know why respawn made them so strong, but they did. They're pretty silly. So yeah, just two barrages of Acolyte Pods normally clears them out. And if it doesn't clear them all out, um, Brute actually has Gunrunner, so he can shoot while uh, sprinting and not take a, a movement penalty. In any case, once you get up here, um, we're going to be moving on to, uh, to Ashkip. So Ashkip has a bit of a new setup. Um, we normally, so... Uh, what we used to do is we would come over here, fly up, and then just wedge ourselves over here. Just kind of crouch our way up here to safety. And that's a pretty safe way to get up. You can actually do it a bit faster. You can actually skip having to walk over this ring, which is like pretty slow. Um, so what you can do alternatively is um, you can... This is pretty tough. So you have to boost at like the very edge right here. So like at the very edge right before the platform. And so what I normally do is I boost and I wait until I see BT dip down like just barely. So you're gonna see my camera is gonna kind of like like boop like that. So like right there. So as soon as I see the camera dip down, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get the full distance from my dash and then I'm gonna fly. And so I, you can actually get past the ring in the pipe and then get straight up there without having to like crouch across it. So boop boop. You hold crouch, wait yourself into the corner, and you can get up there and just have it, skip having to walk over the pipe. Um, it's pretty, t it's like, it's a pretty tight window. Um, and so timing it correctly is, is absolutely gonna take practice. Um, so I, I normally like, I wanna line up about like where this, uh, where this arrow is, dash right off the edge, wait for my camera to dip down just barely, hold crouch and then kinda wedge myself over in the corner here and boom. Um, you have to be really careful because if, if you disembark like on this pipe ring, um, it'll just send you straight down. So you have to you have to be like, like make extra 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 sure you're past the pipe ring. If you're not past the pipe ring, you're in for a bad time, dude. You're in for like a super bad time. Like that. There you go. So you're across. Um, <clears throat> so um, once you get here, you're gonna look at the wall. Actually, you don't even have to look at the wall. Um, you don't have to look at the wall, but I look at the wall just because there have been times that I get across and, I, and I'm not looking at the wall and it doesn't clip me out of bounds. So, um, but even then, you can even look straight ahead and it still clips you through. It's pretty neat. Um, but I usually look through the wall for safety. That, that's, that's about it. But yeah, and you don't have to look at the wall, I just do it for safety. You can even do this if you want to, man. So, in any case, um... You just have to disembark there and then it clips you out of bounds. As long as you're past that pipe ring, that's uh, that's the main that's the main thing here. So uh, again, this is a this is this route has seen a bit of a change. So what we used to do is we used to stand right here and then wait for a hover to come back, and then we would fly up here and then get up on top of this pipe. However, uh, there's actually a new strat now called hoverless, and hoverless is a pretty uh, is a pretty precise strat. Um, I get it. I want to say only about like I want to say like one in five times. So any every, like once in every five times I come through this level, I hit it. Hey, killer man, what's up? Um, I'll do my best to explain it to you. So after you get back in BT, you're gonna dash across here. Um, you don't have to hold crouch, but I normally hold crouch just for safety's sake. See, so dash across this rock, and then um, you're you're gonna want to kind of take like a diagonal approach at this pipe here. Um, and if you hit the if you hit the pipe at the right angle, you'll find that you just run straight up it. Um, and hit and finding the angle is going to be tough for me right now. In some case, in some cases, you can find that you'll kind of get stuck, but you can boost and it'll hit you straight up. So you, you try to hit the pipe at an angle. You might find the angle and then you boost. Um, and sometimes sometimes you don't even have to boost. Sometimes you just run straight up. But you can hit the pipe at the right angle and it saves you having to having to hover. Um, so basically, what that that's faster than doing this, which is like dashing off and then using cover. 
So you'll notice that when you're doing hover, you, even if you're sprinting, you take like a bit of a speed penalty. And if you hit hoverless perfectly, um, you don't you don't lose any speed or any momentum or anything, and uh, it just gets you it gets you straight up, like really quickly. It's it's a very very good strat. So dash here, you have to hit this at the right angle, and you can see like sometimes I just fucking miss hitting it at the right angle. Um, so you would dash here, come here at an angle, then maybe try and dash up. And there you go. So that's hoverless. Um, alternatively, if you don't want, if you're uh, if you're finding you're having like a, a tremendous amount of difficulty with hoverless, which you probably will, um, you can like walk along these pipes right here, and then wait for your hover to recharge, and you can just like dash, and then you can come right up here. So that's like kind of like the backup. So um, if you don't want to do hoverless, it should look like this. So you come over here, get to these pipes, walk along, dash. Hold crouch, and then you're up. So that, that's pretty simple. Um, that's a pretty fast backup. It's not that much slower than hoverless. And then I, I'm not sure if I can get like a perfect hoverless while I'm doing this, just because it's so hard for me to get it in a run. Um, that's almost it. So if you find you kind of like get lifted up, if you get lifted up here and stuck, um, like like about like this, you'll find that normally a dash will get you up. Like about right here, a dash will get you up on top. So having a dash there is pretty important. Why does the screen get all like, why is this, all this weird artifacting? Uh, it's because you're out of bounds and there's no texture for the game to use. So it just uses like the last one on screen. I think is like the technical definition. I'm probably wrong in that. But anyway, find a diagonal angle and you can run straight up like that, like so. So um, once you get here for Ash Skip, um, I guess I should explain why you're not going straight across. So, um, the, uh, the trigger for Ash Skip is huge. So the reason we can't just run straight across is because there's an invisible wall here for one. So there's an invisible wall right here. But then once you get around this corner, um, you'll find that if you go here, you trigger the you trigger the Ash Fight cutscene, which is like a huge time loss. So um, what we do is we walk along this pipe and then uh, you can kind of walk up this rock here the fastest way up the rock is, uh, you're going to want to try and like kind of, there's this little gap right here. You can like, run up here and then you can kind of get around this corner pretty smooth. Um, getting up here without bonking anything is pretty tough, but I normally find if I take an inside cut here, I can get around there without bonking too much. Once you get here, the trigger for Ash fight is about like along this line. It's like a, it's like a box about like that. So you'll see there's kind of like a razor's edge right here. Um, you just run along this. And then once you're about right here, you can turn to the right. And uh, again, it's about like a box like that. So you just have to be mindful of where it is. And then once you get about here, you can cut to the right. If you're really nervous, there's no, there's not really any harm in just running all the way out here and then turning right. Um, so once you get over here, uh, what I like to do is the, 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 these next set of dashes can be pretty scary, and you'll find that you can you can die to it. So what I like to do here is you'll see there's this little rock that has kind of like three different stairs. I'm going to line myself up with the second stair. So that's that right there. I line myself about right here and I'm going to dash to like this little, I don't know what you want to call that, that little edge of the rock right there. So I'm going to dash to that ledge and I'm going to use my second dash to get, to, you see there's an invisible wall that's exploding on to get to that invisible wall. So you dash here dash here you, you, you don't you don't dash like straight across you dash kind of like diagonal left from where you landed and then you'll see there's an invisible wall right here um, and then from here you literally just disembark again you just disembark turn around get back in VT and you flip through the wall so it's pretty cool um, let me see where's my quick save I think this was the one so I'll just kind of show that I'll show this to you like all in one again so you come up the pipe Come right here, go right here, do dashes so I'm going to use them. Get the line up, dash across, a little bit to the left, dash, hit the wall, disembark, and you're through. Um, so for this part right here, there's actually two different ways you can do this. The hard way to do this is stupid 
and Tascanos, you suck for finding this strat. <laughs> Don't do this. This is dumb. It, you'll die really easily. Like, I'm not, I'm not joking. So, uh, what, what happens here is, uh, the, the, the hard way to do this, which is stupid, is, by the way, it's stupid. You dash here. You, you'll find there's like, you'll, there's like a, this floor, invisible floor, like, eventually ends. So, what's going to happen is, uh, you're going to dash, like, about right here. And then use fly and then hold crouch. And you can actually get yourself up on the edge here. So you can get yourself up on the edge of this tunnel. But then there's this little, like, dumbass thing right here that's going to try and push you off. And it probably will. You'll probably get pushed off right here. But if you can somehow make your way all the way up here without getting pushed off, you can end the level about, like, a, a second faster than you do with the other strat. Um, so, normally, so you come here. You go here. You have to, like wedge yourself in this corner like this somehow like run up the side here and not get pushed off like that <laughs> and if you do it it's like it's like a second faster so i'm only including this to like so like in case this ever gets optimized like you you have an idea of what the strat is supposed to look like but anyway this strat is like heckin stupid don't do it it's bad yes it's a fuckboy way of saving time exactly um, so the general way you're supposed to do this is you just come here, you dash, fly up, land anywhere up here, uh, on the other side of this pipe, and then you just run up. And that's it. And that's Ashka. And that's Abyss 3. Um, I'm, I'm, I do apologize for my difficulty in explaining what exactly you're supposed to be doing in caverns. I hope still that this guide finds you well and that you understand what you're supposed to be doing here. Um, Abyss 3 is a level that deserves your practice. It's, it's a very, it's very tough, um... And I, and I hope this uh, hope this guide helps you with uh, some of the more difficult segments there. So thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys in the Effect and Cause 1 video. Um, yeah, good luck with your runs.